Hey everyone, so um, I'm going to walk through a bit of my process today of how I um, I try to make a, um, a riff in the style of, uh, of Tim Henson um, using, if I just go to these videos quickly, um, he has these videos of how to make a riff um, and uh, he's also got a making up OD video, um, which check him out because this is kind of how I'm going to base this. Um, I thought I'd have a go going through the process of um, how, how Tim Henson like, describes making a riff. Um, it's completely new for me, so this is the first time I've ever tried something like this um, and it's definitely a completely new style of playing for me and producing and stuff like that which I'm, I'm completely new to. So the first thing that Tim will say is about um, recreating beats. Um, so uh, in this video he'll talk about a uh, Kanye West beat, so um, I'm not going to play, play it on this, on this video because of copyright but this one here, Fair Trade by, uh, by Drake, so this is the song that I decided to base um, this this test on this um, this idea of creating a riff, um, and if I just go to the, uh, the keyboard so I can show you the chords quickly. Cool. So you're on the other side of the camera now, um, and the song that I was uh, just referencing there was Fair Trade here by Drake, and um, I'm not a, a, a piano player, so you'll have to forgive me. But these are the chords that I could hear over the top of that one, underneath that song. Um, what I liked doing with this when I was playing it though, um, when this first chord, um, if we remove the fifth here and we just play the, the root and the third, um, doing this going from the first note, uh, chord to the second, which was, which is very, you know, it's half, a, it's literally just a, a semitone down, so it, it feels like really ominous, um, which is fine if that's what you're going for. Um, but I, if you remove this fifth and you do that, I thought it was quite nice because you have this, the third, raising up to this, um, up to the fifth of the next chord as opposed to the fifth, the highest note like going down. So it felt like there was this like contrast going. So this, this next chord goes up and down as well so, and it you know, kind of thickens as well. So I quite like that. So with those chords in mind, when moved over to guitar, uh, So um, with that, if you see the, the lowest one, I'm hitting this number one, so I'm hitting this first fret, but I really wanted to have the option to have it open, so um, I decided to move everything down by uh, by one fret, so instead of, so now it's, so that's the chord progression I'll end up basing um, this, this the, the riff on, um, and having the open string means that I do have the option of um, having some like ringing strings as I'm playing, which is another thing that Tim will do quite often, and it opens up some of those all important harmonics, which um, we'll try and find places for um, as we're going. Now, um, with that first chord, which as we know is. Um, what I want to do is um, kind of transpose it a bit and do like an inversion of that, so instead of. Um, I wanted to see what we could do up here. I, I really like starting on this. This note, which will be the, um, which is actually the third of the root, so then we can have the the major minor feel quite easily. Um, and I like starting on that note, so then the 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 major third of our root is up here. Same note, um, and then playing that inversion, which should be. Um, which just felt like a bit nicer, so we can go into that. Um, you know, slides and then this first part of the riff kind of just made itself. Um, and then there's all these like trilly things that I always see um, um, to do. Um, literally just trying to throw everything possible into this riff. Um, so the first part of the riff um, really came. The double slide, another thing, like the double stop. Um, because um, this note here is the E, we can then ring off to the opening. Another thing that I, I see Tim do quite a lot, so then now we're on an open note, it means we can go anywhere after this. Perfect time harmonics. Now we're on the, the notes next chord, so trying to think of the positions again for this 
um, second chord. Um, because we've been playing quite a lot at this end, like we want to try and mix those notes up. A really low end, uh, low notes going to really high notes. So um, the next one is play so. Which I quite like the sound of. Um, and then haven't done a tap yet, so. Which I quite like the sound of. It sounds like you know we're, we're moving across a, a large range of notes at this point. And if you go, uh, if I go back to this um, this song, um, at the very start of this song, um, you'll hear a um, a melody along the lines of like. Something like that. Um, so I wanted to try and incorporate like that area into this um, chord, as you know, it, it fat it fit over that chord bar in a minute. Um, I quite like that run. Got a lot of slides, got a lot of um, trill things. Like overall, feels very tinny. Um, and then we're going over to. Um, Where it's like we're like in the wrap up of the um, of the riff now, so I want to try and like bring it back around itself again. Just work on the arpeggios, open the strings again. So um, again, doing more harmonics, more open strings, that kind of fun stuff. Just throw as much stuff into this riff um, as possible is my is my intention. Um, Um, and then I want to try and loop it back around, bring it back to that um, the the first riff again, which was the. Um, so we're on the last chord at this point, and this harmonic minor thing seemed to work quite well um, because we had this um, this kind of chromatic down one step thing. Um, it felt like it, it kind of opened up this chromatic thing. So and um, we could like play harmonic minor -y stuff over this. Um, so then the, the last riff of the uh, over the chord progression to try and bring it back round. Um, and then I think it's like it's playing slightly over the first beat of the next riff, which um, I quite like. So then it wasn't like one, two, three, four, it kind of just like rolled over the one um, and then it just moves back into the, the second beat of that of that riff. So instead of going Oh, it's when it kind of rolled over, so instead we did something like this. Um, and again, like, so we were doing, but instead we're doing the um, octave down. At this point, um, I didn't want to just like repeat the same riff going through. Um, so that felt like a, a nice place to do a bit of a run but then it ends up again with that um that slide with the open and then it opens up the e again so we could do that again um, um and then instead of doing this low to high thing um i had this run in mind that i wanted to play over and it literally is just kind of using the arpeggios of the chords that were over the top of and then the end obviously we're going to end on some kind of Harmonizer thing as, um, as Tim often does. Because it's quite a busy noise as well, like not doing something really intricate, just like let the notes speak themselves. So it's a really cool exercise. Um, I've never written anything like this before in my life. Um, so it's quite a nice exercise just to try something new. Um, I do think overall I've, I have missed the, the kind of feel that Tim has, um, but I, I genuinely think that's like a very, very hard thing to replicate. Um, but for a first pass, this was a, a really cool exercise. Um, and this was useful, definitely let me know and I'll try and do these kind of things uh, more in the future. But thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you again soon.